Hey everybody, it's Hailmeister and welcome for another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. You know, it's kind of hard to find large geocaches. Everything is micro or small these days, you know what I mean? But there are two of them I'm going to show you in this video. Now the first one I'm going to show you is here in this neighborhood. It's got 28 favor points on it and it's only 100 feet this way. Let's go. Well, look at looky looky. What is that thing? Is that a computer hard drive? Awesome. <laughs> that, my friends, is indeed an old computer hard drive. I have to admit, I have a few trackables with me that I've had for quite a while, and this looks like a great spot to dump some of them off. When it comes to unique geocaching containers, in over 11,000 geocache finds that I have, I don't think that I've ever found a hard drive, especially that size. Have you? What's the most unique geocaching container you've ever found? I'm in the area visiting from Northern Illinois and decided to stop by this fun favorited cache, comma, and who couldn't pass up a large size geocache, question mark. This one was definitely a unique container. Thank you very much for the cache. Well, finally we have arrived at our second geocache our second large of the day let's go get it well check it out i'm in this nice neighborhood here and there's a large size little free library here that has more than 120 favorite points on it all right now the fun begins Sometimes the trick with these little free libraries is sometimes stuff is stuck in a book and sometimes it's stuff up, up in the corner and up, up here, but I'm not finding anything yet. <laughs> What's this? What is this? I found a key. Now this key obviously goes somewhere and I think the cache is located behind the lock. Let's find the lock. Well, awesome, here's a little secret door right here. And uh, there's a lock, let's, let's use a key. Let's get it in there. <laughs> yes, 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 here it is. Awesome, wow. Look at this thing, it's chock full of swag and goodies. Holy cow, favorite point for sure, yes. All right, well, time to put it back, lock it up. Let's go talk to the geocaching owner. I'm here with Geezer Geek. Thank you very much for having me out at your geocache today and coming out and seeing what was going on in your front yard. You're welcome. I have to ask you, what is the inspiration behind this geocache? Well, I was building a small library and a friend of mine came over and says, you gotta build a geocache. He said, there are very few geocaches in the metropolitan area that are larges. And so I made it large. <laughs> awesome. Well, this has got a lot of favor points on it and I thank you for having it in your yard and uh, thank you for being so welcoming. Just for the awesome geocache, uh, I'm throwing in a geocache with Hillmeister sticker. I would like you to have that, sir. Thank you. You betcha. Well, that was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to see the cache owner today, but uh, that was awesome. Great experience and great cache. Hey, if you like this video, I think you'll like these other videos here. Check them out, and I want to know what are you going to find when you go geocaching. We'll see you next time for another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. Hailmeister.